Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. Items I picked up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, YouTube, Facebook, did I say that? I don't know, anywhere, everywhere. I love sourcing. Um, I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. And these items all sold for $35 or less on eBay. These are my um, bread and butter sales, I call them. So $35 or less. If you want to see my big money bolos, I have separate videos on those. All right, you guys, let's get started here. And we are going to start with the first item. We're going to dig right in. And I sold this Doc McStuffins. It's a all-in-one nursery set. And I decided to part it out. I have a video. Um, I paid $20 for a whole bunch of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I had no idea what I was getting. And I have a video on that. So check it out. It's kind of like a mystery unboxing. It's probably going to be on this channel. I haven't released it yet. Um, but I will definitely release it before this video. So look for that. It should say Facebook in the title. And I parted out the playset. This piece and this piece right here sold to the same buyer uh they were all in for 28 dollars. i'm sorry they paid 28 dollars for the two items all in for 35 31. um my cost of goods on this was probably less than a dollar and she sent me a message thanking me for having these hard to find parts so i was really happy that i decided to part this item out the next item actually has a broken eye uh, let me see. You can kind of see it right here in the picture. And I just put one of the eyes is broken. That's why I sold it so cheap. Um, I sold it for $8.64. The buyer was all in for $14.76. Uh, got it at a garage sale for 50 cents. It is a vintage figment dragon Walt Disney World plush. It's only seven inches. I believe I have the bigger one listed. It hasn't sold yet though. I'm surprised because this sold really fast. This is a Halloween mask. I got this from, I don't remember where I got this. Sorry, I apologize. I got it somewhere and I probably paid like a buck for it. And I sold it for $16.55. The buyer was all in for $28.77. This was unbranded. So I was actually surprised that it sold because there weren't any like keywords in the title to really um, pull you in like a uh, spirit Halloween or uh, fun world division, you know, those types of things. This is a Carlton cards, angel of hope from 2003. I got this at a thrift store for $1 and I sold it for $23. The buyer was all in for $30 and 92 cents. Um, I always take my ornaments out of the box. I typically show the box and the ornament in the first photo, just so people can see that it does come with the box. This one was new old stock. The next item is from that same playset, the Doc McStuffins playset. Somebody offered me $13. I went ahead and took that. And they were all in for $19.72 for these peg clips. The next item, I don't do a lot of clothes anymore, you guys. But um, I saw this at a thrift store and I just had to get it. It was a Cleveland Browns Beware of the Dogs shirt. And this thing sold super fast. Um, I got it for about 50 cents and it sold for a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $27.67. The next item is from a Caribou uh, board game. And I actually have a video over on my reseller testing Bolo products. There's a link down in the description if you want to check that out. Um, I show you how I part out this Caribou game. I also show you if the item is um, new old stock or if it's complete what those go for and how to make the best decision of whether you should part the item out or not. So check out that video for sure. Um, I sold this one piece for $18. The buyer was all in for $24.94. And I'm guessing by the time I parted it out, my cost of goods was about a quarter. This is a GI Joe Cobra Commander action figure. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, ended up selling him for $12 and the buyer was all in for $19.31. For action figures like this that I know nothing about, I use Google Lens. It is a free service that you can download onto your phone through Google. The next item is this Cabbage Patch Kids doll. This is a six and a half inch doll. It's small from 2003. 
I got this at the Goodwill for two bucks. I took a best offer of 12 and the buyer was all in for 20.55. This is a Paw Patrol Arctic Terran vehicle. Terrain vehicle. Sorry guys, it's getting late. Um, I have sold this one twice. It always sells fast. It is a harder to find Paw Patrol vehicle. So if you see this, definitely pick it up. Sold this for 34.56. The buyer was all in for 48.83. And I got this at a garage sale for $3. This is for the vehicle only, no character. This I got at a thrift store for 50 cents. It was probably not my best buy, um, but it did sell. So I'm happy with that. It's from 1984. It says first Christmas together. So I thought maybe somebody may have lost this and wanted to replace it. And I sold this for a best offer of nine bucks and the buyer was all in for $14.26. The next item is this House of Hatton 12 Drummers Drumming. So you can see here the legs are broken. They are still intact, but they are broken. Um, I ended up selling this for $35. The buyer was all in for $41.70, and I got it at an estate sale for five bucks. Now, you can see I have the word damaged in the title. Under the condition, it says damaged with the information. I have clear photos of the damage from every angle and the buyer bought this, they got it and they said that um, the item arrived broken. And I'm like, no, the item was already broken and they opened a return. So I told them in the return that yes, I would accept their return, but they were gonna be responsible for the original shipping and the shipping back to me because I disclosed that it was broken. Um, I said, if that's okay with you, then go ahead and ship it back and I will issue the refund when I receive the item. If you do not want to do that, because they're going to be out, I think I shipped it priority mail, so they're probably going to be out $16. Um, I said, if you don't want to be charged for the label, then you can go ahead and just close this return. And they opted to close the return. I'm guessing they just didn't really read the title or read it over really good. and made the assumption that it was good, even though I had put the information in the listing. Always put it in the title, always put it in this area right here, you guys. So it's in their face. Um, on the app, it shows up really well. If you just have it in the description, it might get missed. But I had it right here and right here, like, I want you to see this. Um, so anyway, it all worked out. They closed the return. It still looks really good if you don't look at it upside down, you know what I mean? Like you can't really tell if you just look at it like this. So they can hang it low on their tree or something like that. I don't know. If um, this would have been in mint new, like perfect condition, I probably could have got between 50 and 70 for it. I can't remember what comps were, but that's what I've been selling them for. The next item I almost didn't list. I got it at a garage sale and I was like, eh, I'm just gonna try it. It's kind of like a paper ephemera product. Um, and it actually sold quicker than I expected. It's not branded. It's a vintage honeycomb leprechaun, St. Patrick's, uh, decor. I sold it for eight forty. The buyer was all in for thirteen sixty, and I probably had pennies in this. The next item I sold is this Octonauts toy figure. It is a, uh, just one of the characters from the Octonauts. I also have a video on my reseller testing products channel, uh, reseller testing bolo products where i part out an octonauts set so you can check that out over there also those parting it out videos are really educational because it really is surprising what you can end up selling things for when you part them out this guy sold for nine dollars and eighty cents he um the buyer was all in for 14.77 and i had about 50 cents in this all right let's see the next item I sold this Thomas and Friends train. Oh, nope, disregard. They ended up canceling or not paying. So I closed it for non-payment. And then they messaged me and said that they still wanted it. And I told them they could go ahead and buy it again. I still let them buy it. So that's in another video. The next item is this Schley Pegasus. Um, anything Schley brand I pick up, it looks like that. A lot of times they are animals um, like elephants and bears and all of that good stuff. They do sell and they sell individually. A lot of people will lot them, but I like to sell them individually. This guy sold for $12. I should say gal. I don't know. Uh, 
all in for $18.15 on this. And this came out of a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box. Veggie Tales, I always pick up the DVDs, especially if they are sealed. I got this at a garage sale for $1. It sold for $12.60, and the buyer was all in for $16.90. Um, Veggie Tales is a Christian based, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, DVD series. Um, I, they're mass produced, but they're not like, overly mass produced. So people look for these. If you can find um, the toys that go with it, the plush, those are also a great bread and butter, sometimes big money bolo. The next item is this play school dollhouse little girl. I got her out of a mystery box from auctions for you. Again, um, this was sourced on YouTube and I got this one and this one out of that mystery box. So this one ended up selling for 14 and this one ended up selling for 1610 um, plus shipping. The buyer paid shipping on both of those, you guys. Uh, if you're looking for inventory, auctions for you just bought tons of toys. Um, she bought out like a, a toy store that had tons of vintage toys. So she's linked down below in the description. The next item is from a play school dollhouse that I parted out. Um, they actually bought this piece this piece and this piece for a total of $35 and they were all in for $37.95. This is the second play school, play school dollhouse that I have parted out. The next item is this vintage Avon brooch. It is a fragrance glaze pin, super cute little rabbit from 1974 with the original box. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents, sold it for $17.50, buyer was all in for $22.90. I have probably 20 to 30 of these listed. I've sold quite a few. Um, if you want to see the other ones I got, I do have a video over on my reseller testing Bolo products where I kind of um, unboxed it or showed you guys what I got. The next item is this vintage cracked glass purple ornament. It was down in a mystery box. I thought it was cool, so I listed it. Sold it for $11.89 and the buyer was all in for $18.86 and this came out of a thrift store Christmas box. This retired Boyd's Bear, typically I will pick these up if I can get them for a dollar or less. There is a certain Boyd's Bear that you should definitely be on the lookout for. They go for hundreds of dollars. Um, I do have a video on that. If you search my YouTube channel for Boyd's Bear, you definitely want to check it out so you know what to look for. This guy is just a bread and butter. He sold for $15.39 and the buyer was all in for $25.96. This is Quacken Waddle TJ's Best Dressed Boyd's Bear and it is retired. This little leopard came from a garage sale. I paid a buck for it. It is a Russ Berry. It's got the original tags. And I sold this for $17.50. The buyer was all in for $25.66. Disney Toy Story Sheriff and Horse um, Bullseye. These are action figures. These also came from a mystery box that I purchased from Auctions for You. And I sold this for $16. The buyer was all in for $25.97. If you guys want to see unboxings of these boxes that I purchased from the YouTube channels, I do have them linked on um, videos on my channel. You can search Donatella Bottolino or Auctions for You to see those unboxing videos within my, um, my search bar on my YouTube channel. The next item took forever to sell. I picked these up at a garage sale. I probably paid a buck or two for them. I thought these were going to be like a bolo. And they weren't. They took forever to sell. And I only sold them for $10.79 um, plus shipping. They're a uh, handbook, uh, Boy Scout handbooks. I don't know. I thought they were going to do better. So definitely look up vintage Boy Scout stuff because it can do really well. But these, for some reason, just they did not. This is a music musical ceramic rocking horse. It's uh, made by Bazaar. I was thinking I put a video, but I didn't. So you wind it up and it plays music. I got this at a thrift store for three bucks. The buyers uh, all in for $41.04. It sold for $27.36 for just the item, but it was kind of heavy. So shipping was a little high on it. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up. If you want to check out another video, that would be greatly appreciated. If you made it this far, leave me an emoji of a hat. And thanks for watching.